Hi everyone, I'm really excited to share a focus on literacy and how an app by Quickertail can help improve reading within schools. Language and literacy provide us with building blocks, not just for academic success, but also for fulfilling careers and rewarding lives. The Education Endowment Foundation Science Literature Review found that students' reading capability was the best predictor of later science achievement. We also know that a focus on language and literacy is especially important for pupils with English as an additional language. Picatale's mission outlines the priority to make children's books accessible in a safe way, accessing interactive books as easy as possible. With the DfE's new reading framework, this provides an ideal opportunity to explore literature development within schools and to see what role Picatel has within this as outlined in the following interviews. Um, the, the first thing I did actually when I kind of trialed out pick a tail before creating all the passwords and the logins for the children was I try to link it to the national curriculum and what we do in school. And um, so I know in year five, they've been doing the Greeks. So there's a few books on the Greeks there. I know they do um, stuff around the planets. And um, so I, I kind of linked it to the curriculum. Um, I know I spoke to pick a tail and they have a publishing side of it where they can kind of link books to what we do at school. So I'm hoping in the future that we can kind of work with pick a tail to match it to what we're teaching. And I think with that, because the children's obviously got some prior knowledge in school and they can use pick a tail to kind of build on that. And um, so that's, that's kind of the aim that we're going I think for. what is really good, especially, you know, we've got a lot of children with English as additional language in our school. I think it's 60%. And I think it really helps having them like the narrators on there, I know there's different um, kind of celebrities who um, read books to children. So I think that's a really good resource to have. Um, I think, you know, if, if they've got quizzes at the end, so a bit of comprehension, just to kind of look at the understanding behind it is a really good feature for the teachers. And, you know, it's just, it's just a great resource. You know, you don't have to go to a library. You can just have a book straight away, finish that book and then you can kind of move on to another one so it's 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 just really time saving to be honest and it's it's you know it's free it's free for schools so you know a lot of our parents you know might might struggle buying new books for children it's a free app with lots of books on there so i, th I think it creates easy access for you know for everyone so first of all um the fact that children can go on the app and select their home books for example, there was a time we were looking at instructions and I was, because at the moment I teach a one and uh, I was asking them to read instruction on how to make hex sandwich. They didn't want to read that. They wanted to read instructions on games and things like that. So we did hex sandwich at school, but then they went on and then they started reading other books on instruction books on the app, which was really good for them. Um, and the fact that they could reach what interests them, no limit. So it helps really, most of them, they go back to read at all times, just to read their home books, what they love. Some of them, they, they want to read, um, go back to their nursery rhymes. Sometimes they want to read challenging books, so it has really, really helped them. So we're only just in the infancy of Pick a Tail, really. We're just about to, we're actually just about to roll it out. So we haven't had the children are versed with it as yet. Um, I obviously spotted it and thought this looked fantastic. I liked the quality of the texts 
and I thought that drew it was very kind of child friendly drew the children in and there was a, a real array of texts on there and um, so I'm really really excited to kick start it we do um, we have a very strong reading culture here well I'm lucky to say um, so I think it's going to be so easy for us to roll it out in, and the children really um, take it up really because parents are very very supportive and I just think because there are so many different genres on there there's something for everyone and they were just so excited to be able to read um, on their Chromebooks they were so excited about the fact that um, I had assigned them a book so um, they had to read um, a, a text that I had assigned to them and then um, they were able after they had finished it after they had done the quiz go and explore their own books as well work with their partners you know and I think it has really promoted that love for um, reading. The interactiveness of Pigtail is the fact that children um, are able to open up an assignment, um, they are able to flick through the pages, um, they can either have it read to them, so it's audio narration, um, or um, they can do silent reading, um, then they can um, save their favourite books as well. Um, when they're reading, it's very visual, so that all the all the text that are available for them is is visual, visual as well, alongside all the reading aspect, and they can um, um, click on the pictures as well, and then the 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 names and the words of those pictures. They're loving it. They're they're really excited about it. Um, they're always asking um, um, the teachers to assign them more books. Um, they are. Um, they, they do talk about the books that they've read as well and then the teachers are able to discuss the books because obviously they're, they're able to access what they've assigned to the children as well um, and yes um, what we're doing what our next step is is there are obviously um, be, Picatel being a publishing company they've got their own books at the moment what they've told us that we can do is actually add authors and titles and series of books um, onto um, the app so um, children are coming up to us now and saying, oh, can we have this book and this author? So that's what we're, going, we're moving on to do now. Before, before Picatel, we have a uh, homeschool reading record and checking that I only checked on six children per day because I have 30 children. I will read with two sick children and check if the read at home or if their parents have signed it. Now we pick a tail. I don't do that anymore. It's just a button. I click a button. I will say, why don't you? You have read while wow, you spent an hour reading at home. It has helped me to monitor the time children spend on reading, the, um, the different types of books they've read, and also, um, um the books they've read uh who and who is reading because not all of them are reading uh about 75 percent of the children are really they're using picatel and they're reading it so it's it's really good it's really good it used to be about with that it used to be about 40 percent but now children are reading you know you just create your class and you can click straight on the class and the data is just there with how many minutes, you know, they've been on Picatel, you know, you, you can check and um, what books they've been reading. So, you know, if, if you've got a child who's not really engaging in a literacy lesson, you can kind of see what books he's been clicking on or if there's a certain book that more children are kind of focusing on a type of genre, we can kind of adapt certain lessons to kind of suit that, um, which helps us a lot. Um, what I like about Picatel is that actually the staff are able to go on and see what books the children have read and we have other ways of doing that as well so within our library we have a monitoring system and I think that's much more powerful uh, than actually a reading record book where a parent perhaps hasn't always got the time to, to sign it and that our parents had said to us they don't always know what they they're writing what they want to, what we want to see in there but actually the picatel is a much more direct way to see what children have been reading because obviously teachers can just look up and see and they can have that conversation with the children as well a lot of our children are um, have english as an additional language and a lot of our parents um we found have english as an additional language so um 
one one thing that was very um, um, great is the fact that you know Picatel can be accessed um, via mobile, ta Androids, tablets, and even on the PC. So there's lots of way of accessing Picatel. Um, and the audio narration, I think having, I think sometimes a lot of our parents are demotivated because they don't understand the language or they can't pick up a book with no illustrations and talk about the book with the children. But because of the audio narration, being able to listen to the story um, and even um, talking about the books via the visuals really helps engage the parents with the children. Some parents were very keen to have a look at the family section as well. Um, but I think what it allows them to do, it, it, it's instant, it's instantaneous. And again, it does give a real array. So perhaps some, if you just finish reading one book and then and the child is so desperate to read something else, there are other, there's other texts there that they can read. And it allows to share that story, you know, just through another medium as well. Um, and I think, you know, I think I think it's going to be fantastic when we when we roll it out. It's going to be to give us that analysis, what we need, because one of the things, obviously, that uh, particularly Offset are looking for is how engaged are our parents? How do we know that pets are, are reading with them? So I think that's a medium by how we're going to be able to um, evidence that as well. And that was one of the main um clinches for me really was how we could look at the analysis of that um, and it actually being purposeful so that was yeah that was that's why we decided to go with it i think it helps um see what type of books they're reading um i know they take books from the library you know once a week they have their guided reading book um, but i think it kind of keeps a log for them we do have reading records where they write in but they can just see what they've been doing they can see how long they've been reading for. They can see the book that, that they have an interest in. Um, so I think it helps them kind of follow that. And there is eight different levels on there. So, you know, if they are doing some quiet reading with their child, they can kind of pick the level. And so then that the book that they pick is appropriate for their level. And then you can kind of see them kind of progress through the levels, um, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, so it helps a lot. Um, because with the library the children are kind of free to to pick whatever book they want in the in the key stage and it might be too difficult for them um, so i think it gives parents kind of a freedom to to kind of pick the level but then have a wide broad range of books that they can kind of home in on and, and get their child to read Fantastic segment there, Bookie. Thank you so much for organising that and those interviews. It sounds like a really great way to help sort of raise engagement in reading and to try and foster that level of reading as well from what I can hear there. Could you share some more with your microphone on, please? Yes. No, <laughs> I, th there were so many different features. I mean, obviously, from Helen Lowe talking about the fact that she now has evidence of parent engagement and helping that in terms of improving um, the reading of their child at home. I think also the workflow and how the administrative aspects are also reduced as well. Helen Amerson talking about the fact that literally within the click of a button, you can see the progress of every single child and also have the conversation. So I just think that where you've got schools that have reading as part of their culture, this will add, you know, that this would extend it and also help, you know, different members of the school community on board as well so I had nothing but positives shared about it and it's really interesting I'm going to explore it myself as well